talk. Talk. Talk to me Tuesday. Hey there, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday on a Tuesday with your host, Maddie B. And today we have the founding partner of D. Miller Associates on the show today, which is actually D. Miller. Hey guys, how you welcome. doing? Good to see you, Maddie. Good to see you. This is the first time you've been on the show since the new year. Yes. This is the first show so far, and it's going to be a good one because today we're actually focusing the show Valentine's Day edition. That's right. That's why I've got my red tie on. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you did a great job. Red tie, pink shirt. Yes. You are all in the festivities, which is going to be this weekend. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we want to... Open up those lines of communication if you guys have any questions for the attorney to see how he preps for Valentine's Day. What does he have up his sleeve? What he's going to be doing? I think it's always good to hear from the attorney's perspective on how fun or creative they can be. Yeah, you know, I've been married for 21 years now, so you got to kind of change things up so yeah. things just don't get stale. Yeah, just like 21-year-olds, they go and they party and go have fun. You kind of have to do the same thing in the marriage. Exactly. Go have fun and kind of do the reset button. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear stories on what you guys are going to do. I hope your wife is nothing but excited and happy on that day, which I'm sure you're not just showing love to your um, wife and kids on that day, but it's an everyday type of action. Absolutely. I appreciate her. for She's helped me achieve so much of what we've accomplished, so of course we Got to show appreciation more than once a day, or uh, once a year. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure, for yeah. sure. Um, so a lot of people are coming on the show. Now, second part of the show, we're actually going to see, surprise, how creative you really are. Oh. If you have a little creative bone in there, we kind of are curious, and we've never kind of seen you outside of your legal attorney side. So this would be kind of fun today. Uh, we'll oh, have to see. You I go don't know. tighten your tie yeah. or loosen your tie. I I'm don't not know. sure. It depends on what you guys have planned for me. <laughs> well, we'll definitely uh, surprise you a little later. Okay. But first, I want you to tell our viewers I have never met you. You're hardly <clears throat> on the show because, as an entrepreneur, you're all over the place and having a lot of um, business moves and meetings that you do. But tell us a little bit about yourself for those that have never met you. Okay. Um, I am a graduate of Texas A&M University. Uh, I have an MBA from University of St. Thomas. Uh, I've been practicing law for the last 20 years. I started in personal injury, uh, branched out now, of course, into mass tort. Uh, because we've been able to be somewhat successful in that area, also now we're helping other lawyers uh, acquire their own cases with our in new intake company that we've opened. And we're about to, uh, in, in the next couple of months, open up a social media company also. Wow, that yeah. is awesome. So you keep going. I know you're kind of talking about super, the goals coming up in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. That was actually my next question. How is 2020 treating you on you know, your goals and stuff that you have in place? Are you on track? Crazy. Um, <laughs> there, it, it, I mean, that's the one word I would use to describe it. Um, we've set a number of goals already. Of course, we're, our firm is very goal-oriented, as you already know, Madi. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's been so many opportunities that have even opened up themselves opened themselves this year. So uh, we are, at this point, trying to figure out exactly uh, which things we're going to shoot for, which things we're going to put on the back burner, what we're going to uh, blow up. There's so many different opportunities. We're very excited, and God is working some real wonders in our in our lives. Awesome! It sounds like your resolutions are on track and in line for what you know the month and the quarter that you're planning on doing, which is really important. What's the importance of that for you, at least, so you could tell other entrepreneurs out there? Well, I mean, you you, you got to stay focused. I mean, again, you know, it, and it's 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 kind of difficult for me to say that because even though there is, we set our goals and and we're moving forward to achieving those goals when other opportunities happen. Uh, it's it's sometimes difficult to prioritize which which is which ones you need to go after and which ones you have yeah. to kind of wait on, but you have to make sure on a on a weekly basis that you're working towards achieving those goals, because many times I see a lot of people setting these goals, 
but not really taking adequate steps to mm -hmm. achieve them. Yeah, that's super important. I actually want to know, and I don't know if maybe you can release this, but what are some goals or exciting projects that you have up your sleeve that you want to probably tell our viewers so they could be on the lookout for any future shows or any educational tips that we may be giving them here in the future? Um, uh, there are several of them. Um, you know, one of the things really near and dear to us is with regards to human trafficking. Uh, so we're going to uh, we're going to really educate people this year, as I'm sure many of you of viewers know, uh, what's going on in the human trafficking world, which is just awful and atrocious. Mm -hmm. um, opioids also is another big issue, another big problem that's out there. And so uh, there's a no number of things that we're going to get involved in that we'll be talking about here soon uh, to kind of help some people and get some, uh, get some relief to some others. Um, we're going to do some real estate things. Um, I've, we've had some success in doing certain real estate uh, investments and so we're going to be doing something to shed a little bit of light on what's going on as far as those things are concerned and then of course uh, we want to expand our mass tour practice for the year that's and awesome. so uh, that that's there are so many other things yeah. uh, you know that uh, I better stop right there that's awesome I'm glad you mentioned some of those topics because here on the show on talk to me Tuesday some of these topics are very serious some of them are fun depending on what the trends are so our shows are kind of all over the place with topics but because we are educating entertaining our viewers I know some of them are going to be fun but those serious ones like human trafficking we will be doing an episode once a month to educate and just kind of talk a little bit about um, the severity of that topic in our community not just in this state but in other states as well yeah it's I mean that's, that's like much like the opioid problem that's it's a it's pervasive every society uh, and goes through even different countries and so it's something that we definitely need to get our hands on because quite frankly it's gotten completely out of control yeah, it's definitely, you're right, it is getting out of control and it's not until you see it on the news and the media to where someone like yourself, attorneys, can really rectify it and it kind of make things a little bit better. Nothing's always going to be perfect, but can try to um, hold people accountable. Right. Yeah. You know, one of the things I really like about what you guys are putting on here, and I say you guys, us too, I love the diversity of the shows. I love the fact that one week it's, it's dealing with... Uh, uh, a human tragedy such as human trafficking, and then another day you're you're doing things to to help the community in, in other ways and educate people. So yeah. I love what you, you guys are doing with the show. Yeah, and we definitely want to recommend for you guys letting us know certain topics that you may want to hear about this year. I know he did mention some real estate. If you're curious about the real estate portion um, and want to know a little bit more, even human trafficking or more fun stuff, definitely want to kind of hear what your thoughts are so we can incorporate it in 2020s line of production. So speaking of, I'm going to go with one word. One word, Attorney Darren Miller, that you would describe yourself. What kind of attorney are you? Are you the intellectual one, the one that likes to be studious, the funny one, the um, the one that's always trying to make people laugh, kind of putting people, you know, in a better place in their life? Like, one word, what type of attorney are you? Great question. Um, <laughs> I, I would have to, if I'm going to sum it up in one word, I would have to say, I'm a, I'm a businessman, and mm -hmm. when I say businessman, I, I make the decisions based upon what the market conditions are, uh, what's going out there, going on there in the economy, what the situation is, and quite frankly, um, what economically is the best for myself and for my clients and for my partners. So I make a lot of, I think fairly good business decisions nice and I that's I think that's how I describe it that's that's good so as an attorney I know a lot of people that are watching the show may think ah, oh, an attorney um, they don't really have much of a personality which I think it is a myth um, if your kids were to say a personality trait of who you are are you the funny guy are you just the cool dad like what kind of person are you um, aside from the businessman that you are Oh, that's easy. <laughs> oh, that's, that's easy. easy. Okay. Silly. Okay? Silly. I am ridiculous. No way. I, I'm all business at the office and nice and serious, but at home, I'm silly. I'm father. I'm throwing water on them and waking them up. No, you're um, not. I'm, I'm creating all kind of you're controversy. That guy. Okay. I am Mr. Messy. And that, that's who I am. <laughs> yeah. I, my, we say at home, I've got four children, of course, and my wife has five. So that's how it goes at the house. <laughs>
yes. that's funny. I know yes. your wife would probably uh, go comment on the show and say, yes, yes. I agree. Yes. Yes. So, wow, that's funny. That's kind of cool to hear a little bit about your personality and how you really are behind the business side of things. We do have a comment. This one's from Bernice. Hey, Bernice. Bernice. She's saying, happy Valentine's Day, my favorite people. Oh, so sweet. Thank you, Bernice. You're thank so you, sweet. Bernice. You need to come by and visit us sometime, Bernice. You really need to come do that. Yeah, we'd love to have people that are watching our show come by. Give us a big hug. Be on the show. I think it's awesome to interview people that are watching and yeah. see what they think. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Bernice, because she watches all the time. Bernice, you should come on the show sometime. Yeah, I agree. Mine would love to interview you, I'm sure. Yeah, so we'll have Giselle reach out to you to get you on the show, so that would be awesome. So speaking of fun stuff and kind of you being the silly attorney at home and businessman by day over mm -hmm. here, this month is February, which yes. there's a lot of things, I would say some some educational, some fun stuff. So we have Black History Month happening this month. We have Valentine's Day that's in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. NBA All-Star Weekend. Yeah. We just experienced um, NFL, Super Bowl, and then the rodeo begins in Houston. Yes, a lot of stuff going on. We're all over the board. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty loaded weekend. What would you say out of all those fun things would be your favorite that um, are happening? I would have to say in terms of the Black History Month, recognizing those folks that have gone before us to kind of help uh, paved the way for, quite frankly, shows like this. Had Dr. Martin Luther King not made the sacrifices he did to right. do what he did back in the 60s, would we be sitting here uh, putting this show on and educating people in the way that we are? Right. Probably not. So it, I think that's probably the most important for me. Yeah, I love the word, one word, diversity, which is um, kind of encompassing from this month, which is Black History Month, also Martin Luther King, some of these um, changes that happen in our um, history and where we could be in the same room, um, which is such a diverse culture, yeah. your background as well as my background. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's awesome. I do have another comment. This is Marshall saying, proud of my client. We are because you are thank you oh, Marshall thanks Marshall yeah and then I have Chris on the show saying I really a great attorney and awesome staff thank you so much thank Chris you. that's we so sweet of you um, yeah so just speaking of the fun stuff um, that we have going on um, the NBA all-star weekend yes. starts and kicks off on Valentine's Day yes I'm sure most women hate it because they lose their spouse to either going to the game, watching the game, and you know, a lot of women is like, hey, this is my weekend, this is right. my basketball. But, you know, going off of the NBA All-Star Weekend, they're doing a lot of great tributes. I know we just um, lost a legend of yeah. Kobe, Kobe Bryant, yeah. um, as well as eight other victims additional to the, him. Um, so they're doing a tribute. Uh, the East and the West are not going to be wearing their numbers. They're going to yep. be wearing either 8 or 24, which I think is beautiful. Um, they're going to do a memorial on 224 of 20, which is crazy. I don't know if you've really kind of read that date. What does that date mean to you? I know I've kind of like read some cool stuff. Um, well, again, you know, I think in the also game, I believe they're they're I think they're going to wear they're going to wear the daughter uh, jerseys for his daughter. Oh, okay. Number two, and then for for Kobe, I, you know, it, that that it it hit me so hard, you mm -hmm. know, uh, losing Kobe, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and I didn't really realize the effect that he had on so many different people. Um, you know, obviously he was a legend in terms of what he did on the court. But off the court and beyond that, in terms of um, the efforts he was making to change himself, to re-energize re, re and to change his, um, the things that were out there, he wanted to make sure that people knew that, hey, look, I'm not only a legend with regards to being a basketball player, but I'm going to show you I've got a business mind also. I'm going to take it to the next level with regards to the, uh, different things he was doing. And he was just getting started. He was just getting going. And, and for him to be taken from us at, at such a, a young age, it's just, I mean, he, this guy was going to change the game. I'm just telling you. And yeah. it, I still feel even today. Yeah, and I still feel that he will just from a different platform, which is up there. Yeah. Um, so he will be changing the game. I know he had an academy um, that was really molding children, which is our future of tomorrow, yeah. to have the game so elevated, which I think is beautiful. I know the Staples Center, I believe, is going to be um, – doing a memory of him and his daughter on 22420, right. two being the jersey number of Gianna, 24 being the jersey number of him, and then he played for 20 years. 
Wow. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Such a powerful date, such a powerful number, and it just kind of lined up, you know, that we were close to February, which is just kind of crazy and ironic to me how this all kind of works, you know? And, and you know, um, so I was devastated and I was very upset. I didn't, I didn't cry when I heard about mm -hmm. it, but it just, it, I watched, you know, piece after piece with regards to what, what happened with Kobe. And um, and it truly affected me. My, my wife was like, "Hey, what's wrong with you?" And I'm like, "This this is really this is big. This is really really big." And then I didn't really think about how it affects kind of the younger generations. And then I called my sister, and she has three children, three boys, and they're involved in athletics for, from ages 13. I'm from uh, the oldest is 14, youngest is uh, is, is eight. Mm -hmm. She said that two of the three boys are inconsolable. They're inconsolable yeah. because of what has happened with him. And they're just starting to kind of get over it even now. So, I mean, he's affected my jo my generation and also the younger generation. Yeah, also. I really agree with you. I think he's affected a lot of generations, even like our parents, you know, watched him at his prime. That's 20 years of playing. You watched him from high school all the way until his retirement. So did, um, well, I actually watched him more in his mid-season. Our kids of today, those are his, those, that was a hero to some of our youth today. So it really affected a lot of different demographics as yeah. far as age range, um, which it's something proud. I'm sure he's looking down on us right now saying, wow, I really touched so many lives and right. not thinking he touched as many as he did right. which i think that's super impactful um so the nba all-star weekend this we're going to be putting a lot of stuff out um it's going to be such a great honor it's also a great show that they put on the nba and they kind of bring some of the strongest players um, I know they're going to be legends there, um, older legends that are older than Kobe, like Michael Jordan, which is one of your favorite, of too. Of course. Michael, <laughs> the, Shaq. Yeah, mm -hmm. they'll all be there, which I think would be great. Um, so are you planning to watch that game? Or absolutely. Or the festivities, shall yeah, I say? absolutely. Every weekend. Um, I, you know, quite frankly, I watch it up until I, – I I'm not much into the All-Star game. I've, in, in past years, I've not done that. But definitely because I know they're going to be doing things with regards to Kobe. Something special. I am going to definitely yeah. you know, take the time to do that. What is your favorite event from NBA All-Star that you would say? That you're like, I got to watch it. Give me the popcorn. I'm watching the whole thing from beginning to end. The dunk contest. Hands the, down, the, the, for the, sure. The, creative, the, the creativity of the dunk contest. I love it. Uh, there was many years there where it got very mundane and very boring. But they've started to pep it up now and, and let people be creative and Bring in props and different things, so I love the slam dunk contest. I would agree with you. Slam dunk contest is one of my favorites. Three pointers, another one too, but it's kind of gotten a little bit on the like not as exciting um, portion of it. A dunk contest for sure. And I heard, I think Dwight Howard's coming back this year on doing a dunk contest. Really? That's what I heard. I don't know if that's really true, okay. but we'll definitely have to watch to see hey, if some of the veterans come back. He's doing a heck of a job with the Lakers. He's yeah. re-energized, re playing down there with. Uh, with with uh, with um, my my man uh, uh, LeBron, so hopefully he's gonna kick butt in the contest. That should be interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely super interesting. We have some comments. We have Kathy saying, "Hey guys." Um, we have Ciprano saying, "Hi, Mari and Darren, looking good on the tube." So hi, mm -hmm. thank hi. you for tuning in. We have Marshall saying, "Kobe Bryant was professional sports, little and big brother." So yeah, for sure, absolutely, definitely agree. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a lot of. A, an exciting weekend, a lot going on on the weekend. Um, but let's not forget, first and foremost, is Valentine's Day, yes. which is something special that we do here in the office. Uh, we do a lot of stuff for the employees. I know you guys, the partners, do a lot of things for the women. And then this year, because we have a pretty good diversity um, or diverse staff, we're going to do something for the men, too. Cool. That's yeah. not so Why girly, not? but manly. Yeah. You know, it was, it was interesting because I think uh, a year or two ago, we we had given John that that little gift as yeah. kind of a joke, a kind of a thing, and people picked up on that. So yeah, absolutely, exactly. the men should be included. Exactly, right? the men do deserve love as well. Yeah. They're not the only ones to give love. So ladies, step it up. Which I know the ladies always come with it, and just you know they get very creative and they get give a lot of heartfelt um, gifts, either DIYs or they really like put poems together. Just, yeah. Give your their heart. So, ladies, keep it coming. The men love it, right? We do love it. And unfortunately, we're just not as creative as you ladies. We're just not. Well, we're, we're going to see your creative juices today, but like receiving Good those gifts. Yeah. How does it make some, a man feel um, 
I'm sure you could speak for some, maybe not all, but how does it make a man feel to receive like such a thoughtful gift from a woman? Very special, very special. See, it, works. Um, it, it, it is. I mean, it, it, when you guys take the time to do your thing and let you know how we feel and express that to us, it's fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. So, see, ladies, they do appreciate it. I mean, <clears throat> yes, we you know, do. maybe they show it a little bit different, but they do love the gifts that we make for them. So, that's awesome. So, do you have any plans? I don't know if you want to reveal everything, but do you have any plans um, for this weekend on Valentine's Day? Yes, I am going to be getting some, my my wife some some roses, uh, some long stem roses. I'm going to Aww. be taking her out to dinner and making sure she knows just how special that she is. Yeah. Now I know you have a household. Your hashtag girl dad. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So do you start showing your young girls, your little ones, at this young of an age? the love from the most important man of their life, which is their dad? I have to. Yeah. Um, I, I have to. I mean, uh, they would they would string me up if I did. So my <laughs> daughters, Jordan and Morgan, they, they get it, as Aww. well as my mother also, yeah. as well as my mother-in-law, Wawa, who's a, who I love just as much as any, any, any of the other women in my life. So, yes, they all get so to So you got to get a lot of roses uh, starting on Thursday. <clears throat> you better hurry up because they start selling out of roses too. Well, everyone's not going to be getting roses now. <laughs> Some people have to get a little bit more than others. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe whatever we make on the show today, you could take that back to your family. So go. what is something special about Valentine's Day that means the <clears throat> most to you? Um, it, it, the, the opportunity to, you know, I'm a really busy guy. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I've, I've got a lot of things that are going on. I just came back from New Orleans actually uh, uh, yesterday. Mm. Um, and so I don't get to spend as much time with my family as I should. And, and I see them a lot and, and I interact with them a lot. But sometimes events like to like uh, Valentine's Day, I get to sit down, take a time out and make sure I love you. I love you. I love you and make sure that they know and I embrace it and I take care of them. So this gives me the opportunity to show that love. Yeah, especially for businessmen like you, it is very important to unplug, not just men, but there are businesswomen out there. Yes. It is very important to unplug from the day-to-day -day and just giving back and just telling your family how much they mean to you because tomorrow isn't promised. It is not. I mean, and again, you know, it, it, we all need to make this money and, you know, get that next promotion and all that, those kind of good things. But, guys, you have to make sure that you take the time to smell the roses and yeah. appreciate those around you that you love and give them a hug and give them a kiss because as you said, just like we saw unfortunately with Kobe, you know, you just never know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So that is definitely something very true. Another important thing that we are celebrating this month is Black History Month. Yes. So tell our viewers what Black History Month means to you. It, it, it gives us, February is a, a very special month. Again, it gives us the opportunity to take the time to appreciate uh, the, the sacrifices that certain African Americans have provided for this country and the contr contributions they've made to the betterment of this country. And so I, it, it's important to us to recognize that, to, to look at some of the people, to, to study some of what they've done. And so this is a special time for me and my family, for sure. For sure. And I know last year we did on our social media. So I definitely recommend that you guys are on all our platforms so that way you guys can see what we're doing. We did um, historic figures that we kind of spoke. It was your voice. Um, and kind of saying what they did to our community, our society, etc. This year we're doing something a little different. This year we're going to be bringing um, influential people in our community today on how they're going to change our society for tomorrow and how they're going to create history tomorrow, which I think is very important because we want to see some of these people on the history portion. I mean, maybe um, even someone like yourself, you can be someone's uh, Black History Month um, person that they honor, you know, someone, it could be all types of rays of lights. It could be all types of influential people. It doesn't have to be someone that's just been on TV to someone that's made a mark and made history. Um, yeah, I, I think that's, you know, I, and I'd love to hear that, Marty, because again, if you look and kind of see, uh, unfortunately, some of the things that have unfolded in this country lately, um, unfortunately, we've kind of taken a step back in certain areas. We've moved forward in, uh, in other areas, but race relations, um, sexual equality, things of that nature, 
we need to really take a close eye and keep an eye on those things and make sure we are moving in the right direction. Yeah, definitely want to move in the right direction and not go back into history where um, those that fought for us had to um, basically fight. Like, we don't want to regress, shall I say, exactly. um, back to that in history um, time. So now your office, D. Miller and Associates, you didn't get to participate because like you mentioned, you were in New Orleans, but a lot of your staff got to participate in this Black History Month uh, video, which here in this office, it's diversity. There's just a lot of uh, rays of sunshine, walks of life that we have here, every color, every shade, every size. So mm -hmm. together we stand on Black History Month and we want to kind of show you a little dedication video here. Let's take a look. Accomplishment. Acceptance. Equal rights. Unity. Achievement. Determination. Peace. Bravery. Honesty. Diversity. Movement. Justice. Change. Pride. Integrity. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. What an awesome video, huh? That was fantastic. Yeah, we have in-house a videographer, cinematographer who really brought the creative side and um, put that together, which I think is cool. It was a black and white video because that is what Black History Month and those those words were very impactful and what they mean to each one of us. So yeah. I thought that was super cool. Yeah, it brought me back to the old Michael Jackson Black and white video. Yes. Now there is a lot of our viewers, okay, our millennials that I say, hey, it's like that video Michael Jackson, black and white, and they're like, uh, okay. They have no idea. Jeez. Oh, Y'all gotta go check it go out. Go check it out. I yes. Mean, compare it to what we did and let us know your thoughts. It is a good, good video. So I suggest and Michael Jackson's another one who is no longer with us but is a legend. Absolutely. Um so definitely go check that out. So today, um now you already got the surprise. We will be decorating a cookie for Valentine's Day. Cool. Okay. So cool. we're gonna kinda make a heart shape. You guys can either DIY it or you could buy it, okay? It's up to you guys depending on if you're really creative or if you're not that creative it might be a better idea to buy it yes probably yeah. <laughs> yeah, she may not um, want any cooking from Mari uh, no I'm just kidding oh, or kidding. from you right oh, whoa, whoa. so hey. what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put on gloves just to start off with okay. we do have the cookie uh, dough that you guys kind of see here it is just kind of bought from the store that you guys see it in the tube form um, so we kind of just split it up in between in half him and I. You guys see also here part of the tools. We do have some, um, I don't know, to decorate icing. We have it in red, pink. We have uh, hearts. We have uh, gel decorating to where we can write Happy Valentine's Day. He looks nervous. Cool. I already know. We have some sprinkles here, um, heart sprinkles that you guys can see, um, and then some more sprinkles. So you have options. It's almost like, um, what is that? Like painting with a twist. But okay. we're cooking with a twist. How cool. about that? So and what I, we're going to... Go ahead. And I see, Madi, you've got me some special gloves to cover my sp special Aggie ring. Oh, yeah, okay. the Aggie there ring. Go. Got it. You just got to throw that in there, right? I've got to. Got I'm to. actually an alum of Texas State University, so okay. go Bobcats. Okay. For sure. <laughs> You're giving me the little golf clap. I'm done. <laughs> so what we're going to do is you're going to kind of get messy. So you can do this with your kids if you do have young ones or not. I know you kind of do with your family a little bit of a bonding time, which I think is awesome. Yes. You could do this with the kiddos. So you kind of want to get all down and dirty. Um, and you want to kind of flatten this uh, cookie. 
dough, yeah. okay? Now, the more flat, the better, because keep in mind, the cookie dough will rise, okay? So if you kind of make it fat, it's gonna be like a big, like chunky, and then the inside will still be doughy. So what we're doing is we're kind of flattening it, and now you can make it whatever shape that you want. You, Today, we're actually going to focus on a heart. Okay. okay. So oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> but we're going to get that really creative. So right now, we're just kind of flattening it out. And um, you could probably either use your finger and kind of trying to make a heart. Okay. Or kind of like clay or Play-Doh, as most of our kids love. Or actually, they don't do Play-Doh anymore. I think they do slime. They do slime? Slime. It's kind of like slime. So yeah. kind I think of. you might be right. Do it like as if it's slime, um, and you kind of start shaping it as a heart, okay. which start using your hands, pretty cool. Do you, Mr. Miller, do you know how to draw a heart? I do. Okay, okay, cool. So this, I hear I'm a pretty lovable guy. You? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says, ladies and gentlemen, he's a lovable guy. So I'm pretty much complete with my portion. You, again, want to flatten it out, because if not, you really have to cook the cookie. And I want to show you guys what my heart looks like. So pretty, sir. Okay. Oh, yours is not bad. Mine's a little misshapen, but uh, okay. So pretty. Okay, okay we got two hearts. Okay. Now keep in mind, you don't only have to do this with cookie dough. You could do it with a pizza. You could do it with so many other cool things, which is awesome. So what we recommend that you do is preheat your oven at 350 degrees and also bake it for 12 to 15 minutes. So it's super, super easy. Um, you guys, as you know, we're in a studio right now and we don't have an oven. So we kind of cheated. Remember we kind of mentioned earlier, you either make it or you buy it. And that's exactly what we did. We went to Great American Cookies and we bought it already done in the oven. Ta-da! There we go. There's your heart. All right. Perfect. So we actually can eat this and this is going to be very tempting for me. Because I'm actually a cookie monster. Oh, are you? I love chocolate chip cookies. I love it. So I could devour this thing too, but okay. I've got to weigh in for biggest loser. Oh yeah, you're on a diet. Uh no, it's a lifestyle change. Not oh, a diet, okay. lifestyle. Okay, change. lifestyle change. I hate the word diet. I hate that lifestyle change. Yeah. Okay, so lifestyle change. Now okay. for those of you guys right now, I'm actually gonna take off my gloves for the decor part. Okay. That was more for the hands-on since we just had our fingers and everything. For you ladies that have nails, you might want to incorporate the gloves. Um, so this next part is just decorating, okay? okay. So you can go as festive or as non <laughs> A little magic trick for you guys as you go. Here we go. Oh, it's a okay. <laughs> the glove challenge. Not the room challenge, the glove <laughs> challenge, yes. So I'm actually, I think, oh God, this is stuff. I think I'm going to start off with the white. So, sir, Okay. do you know how to do this? Yeah, you kind of hold it at the top and squeeze it at the bottom. Okay, you've done this before. Cool. Yeah. So go ahead and grab one. Be careful. We did tie and seal the end because I know sometimes it could come from the other end and you kind of don't want that. Okay. Um, and you kind of want to twist it, a twist effect so that it can kind of uh, come out. And okay. there we go. So... You decor I think I'm going to be like a great American cookie and really decorate this like they do. Wow, this takes a lot of concentration. Sir, are you doing okay? I'm working on it. It's okay. coming along. I think mine's a little defective, but uh, we're going to be all right. <laughs> now, just a little, uh, uh, a little surprise. Now, Mr. Miller is left-handed. So as you guys yes. see, he is starting on the opposite side as myself who is right-handed both both of you guys right or left can definitely do this I just think that's a little bit of a fun fact yes you yes. know they say a lot of great things about lefties we do a lot of great things Mar Marty. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome hey, I know I got it coming out on the side okay, yes, yeah. okay you're all almost right. there so you're kind of um, going around the heart right now you get to choose the style that you want okay you don't have to do little dots you don't have to um, you could do whatever you want and we're kind of trying to go a little fast Okay. <laughs> I think you're copying me. Are you copying me? No, not okay. at all. I think great minds think alike, Mike. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so, mine's a little defective, though, because mine's kind of coming out of the side here. <laughs> okay, so you have, and as for those of you guys that cook, 
there's different nozzles, okay? So the different nozzle, you do have a different one. Mine's more flowery, and yours is more of a, like, a wave. And mine's more messy also, Monica. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, okay. something like that. Okay. Well, that's okay. You, you're you a lefty, so you guys do a lot of great things. Remember you said that? Yeah, I heard someone say that before. Yeah, someone. So I think I'm going to choose mine. Oh, this this feels fun. Wow, it's a little... A little cold in there. Okay, so I don't know what I want to do. Ooh, actually, I do have a great idea. Don't copy me, sir. Okay. I'll try not to. No, don't copy. Are you getting messy already? I told you that my one was defective. Okay. So I think there's a I'm trick. I'm getting direction. You're supposed to hold it straight up. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to um, hold it straight up. Okay. I'm going to try to be swaggy here because I'm very swaggy. Aw, so cute. Okay, guys, this is actually a little bit harder than I thought, but, um, yeah. So, let me just show you while he's, aw, so sweet. He got creative. Uh, what the outline kind of looks like, and there's a heart. This is mine so far. He's getting a little fancy over there. I might have to copy you. I didn't know how much time we had, so I went ahead and did a little something, and I'm saying love so far. Yeah, that's yes. great. I love it. <laughs> So I, we do have some time. We still got to, right now what we're doing is the, um, I'm going to steal this. Okay. okay. We're doing the uh, icing, okay? There's still more to do, like uh, you could do heart cutouts. Okay. You could do glitter. We're not at the embellishing side just yet. Okay. I think I'm squeezing this a little too hard. How'd you do that? You did that with ease. I sure, well, I'm a connoisseur at this. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know? <laughs> well, I don't know. Okay, so for all of you guys that didn't know, Mr. Miller is a cook at the house too, huh? Yes, every Friday night, uh, me and the kids uh, get together with the wife and we all do it together and have some fun cooking for each other. So tell the truth, who taught you everything you know in the kitchen? My wife. Ah. No question, no doubt. Thank you, wifey. Yes. Wow, she's beyond amazing. She's all jacks of the trade, huh? She, she does it all. And she puts up with me, so yeah. that's fantastic. <laughs> you guys have, we'll wait, okay? We gotta wait till the finished product. So now there's a lot of other things. It's totally up to you. There's something called like pearls. Um, I don't know if you're a pearly type of guy. Not really, but okay. you know, we'll take a look at some things. <laughs> or if you're like a glitter type of person, I think I'm gonna do the glitter. I don't know how this is gonna work. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna out. find out. Yeah. Let me take off my jacket Okay, here. it's getting a little warm for you, huh? You're taking this real seriously, huh? Yeah. Why not? Nothing's coming out, guys. It's fine. Um, okay, I think we have to open this a little bit more. I'm a little afraid because I just feel like everything's going to... You know what? Let's just play it safe. I'm going to look at these pearls. and oh. What do you do with these pearls? You could either set them in between your little things or you could just sprinkle them. Okay. I think I'm going to do a sprinkle effect. Oh, so cute. You know, this is a great activity for kids. It um, is. I think, <laughs> I think this is great for their personality to show and really get to show the parents and or your loved ones. They can even do it for a class. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little sugar on mine. <laughs> I can't even look at it because it's going to distract me. Then I'm going to mess up, sir. I think you're doing this on purpose so no, I can mess up. No, not at all. Not at all. Wow, you did a lot of love sprinkles over there. I did. Is that, I what did. did you call that? Sugar? Salt? Yeah, it's, it is uh, red sugar. <laughs> and since I'm so sweet, oh, there we go. We have to ask the fam band yes, we to will. see if that's we will to see if that's true and accurate. Mine is so loving. That's nice. That looks good. Yeah, like yours it. looks good too. I'm actually. <laughs> there we go. All I'm right. actually very surprised. Let me tell you why. I didn't even think you had a creative bug in you, and you're actually very creative. Oh, thank you. I'm trying. Uh, uh, certainly, I'm not competing with you. That looks fantastic. Thank but, uh, you. So I think uh, it's time for you guys to vote. Which one is your favorite? <laughs> or let us know. Like, wow, I'm very shocked that Mr. Miller, actually, Attorney Darren Miller, is a creative attorney, not just a businessman. <laughs> so there, yeah, there's some there's some creativity in the kitchen also. Okay, so be careful, please. It, it can slide, sir. I can just already see your cookie cake on the floor. Okay? Oh, wait. Oh. Go, well, let Monty go first. Okay. 
Here's this her. one's mine. My sprinkles are falling, so I'm just gonna put this down. It says love. Okay. Okay. What does yours say, and then sir? Mine. Mine says love me. And then the balls kind of roll around a little <laughs> bit, but yeah, oh, there we look go. Look how creative that is. Huh? I'm proud bad. of you. Love me. Well, so who are you, you. going to give this cookie cake to? I'm going to give it to my lovely wife. Uh, yeah, and tell, remind her to love you. She's going to yes. tell you I love you every day, yes. right? Exactly. That and I'm telling you awesome. what's going to happen is my son, my my 60 year old is going to come in and steal it because he loves the cookie cakes more than anybody. Oh, man. That's what's going to happen. Who's the most, um, the, who's the person in your family has the, the biggest sweet tooth? The biggest sweet tooth would be Jordan. Jordan. Well, again, now again, uh -huh. the biggest that's of the children. Uh, me would be the biggest sweet tooth. Me. You. Yes. You, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I guess I'm one of the kids, so yeah. Me and then Jordan. Okay, you and then Jordan. So is yes. Jordan like your mini me? Uh, no, she is her own woman. That is for oh, sure. Oh, independent yes. women. Let's go. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, so we do have a couple of comments. So as we were going to work, we weren't really looking at the comments. Are you okay, sir? I'm good. Okay, I'm good. good. So we do have um, Eric E.T. saying, Madi B., what's something good to get a woman who has everything? Mm. D. Miller, how do you feel about Black History Month being basically taken out of our schools altogether? I, you go first, oh, then I go. Yeah, let, let's start with something heavy, then go to the left. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> no, I, I think it's it's awful. It's terrible. Um, yeah. I think that it's very important that uh, diversity is taught, and so people learn about different cultures, especially, of course, with regards to the uh, black history is very important. It's a big part of what we do, and so I think it's a travesty that, that that's what's going yeah. on. Yeah, I definitely agree, and um, hopefully it's not incorporated in every schooling system. I don't know if it's already just kind of gone to everywhere, but that is very sad. I mean, yeah. historic figures, whether whatever color they are, I think are very important um, for our kids to learn our history. Exactly. So, um, as far as the question you asked me, um, so I'm going to put myself in this woman's shoes. Um, I'm very big on receiving the affection, the love, just being present. Um, that's really rewarding for me. Mm -hmm. um, I also will tell you I pretty much have everything. I don't need anything. But it's always great to just get a really good hug, really good um, affection, and just being in the presence of love of those that love you. Um, I think that's what a lot of women, um, that's very important to them as well as just doing a nice gesture, whether it's a flower or a bear, just to just tell them that you are thinking about them, they get something, and it's really the message behind it. Right. Whatever yeah. the poem is and whatever you write, that's really what means the most to the women. It's not really the actual item. You know, and I, Madi, I think you've hit the nail on the head, mm -hmm. uh, and I can kind of add a little bit to this because I often have some of these same questions and <laughs> with, with my wife. And one of the things that I've learned from the women in, in my life, my daughter, my, my sister, my wife and children, it's time. And making sure that you allocate enough time to spend with those particular people, and then make sure that the time that you're spending with them is meaningful to them. Do you're doing events that they're going to be interested in, yeah. that they're going to want to be involved in, that, they're, that they have some ownership in. So that time is really important. And I will add, with no distractions, nowadays our yeah. phones, our iPads, our laptops, you're there, but you're really not there. Right. It's just your body, and they need yes. your body, your mind, and your soul. Exactly. So I think that's what's even more important than that. So yep. that's great. Um, so good question, E.T. I know mm -hmm. I have Brenda saying hi. Um, I have Chris Sell saying, ha ha, Mr. Miller's technique is hilarious. <laughs> wow. He has a good Thank technique. You. It's the lefty you. technique. You know, we know, we know what that's all about. Um, so just kind of want to announce a couple more things. I know we just did DIY. DIY. What, do you know what that stands for? No. What does it stand for? Sir, are you serious? DIY? Uh, did you know? Uh, uh, do it yourself. Oh, do it yourself. Do it well, yourself. Well, that would be difficult for me because I don't do anything myself. <laughs> that's why I've got a staff of almost 80 people. And that's a good That's a good way to put it. A whole household of people that help you. So we just did our cookie. We did it ourselves. Or you can go to Great American Cookie. Um, they also decorate it with whatever you want. You could put um, Happy Valentine's Day, honey, whatever you wanted to say. Uh, um, excuse me. So you can DIY it or you can buy it, totally up to you, whichever you guys prefer. Um, I know we're kind 
we do something, you do something, called heroic behavior. Yes. I love heroic behavior. Oh, yes. It's super awesome. I know um, all our viewers also love heroic behavior. I know last month we gave, in honor of Valentine's Day, we gave them a gift certificate for a steakhouse so they can take their significant other, loved one, I don't know, daughter, sister, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so that was super cool that awesome. that happened. Um, this month... So in honor of the rodeo, okay. okay, we're doing it because the rodeo is at the end of this month, which is normally when we give the prize, right. and then at the beginning. So this month, get ready for all my Houston rodeo fans, all my country singers, we're giving out tickets to the concert of Cody Johnson! Whoa. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's going right. to be great. Awesome. I know Cody Johnson's concert sells out all the time. It's very hard to get those tickets. So what I want need you guys to do, you know that it's only four easy things, right? Do you exactly. know what? Name one thing they have to do over here. <laughs> what do they have to do? Yeah, one thing. One thing they have to do. Uh, they have to like the show. They have to like the show. <laughs> they have to like the picture that's next to you over there. Go like it. <laughs> Go like. <laughs> uh, so guys, funny. everyone in the studio is laughing at me, by the way. Just, just so you I know. I don't try to <laughs> hold it. Um, you guys have to go like our Facebook page. Right? That's really, really important of because course. we get more friends, more followers, and more lives to impact. That's right. That way we can put on better shows. For people for you. like you. Exactly. You guys have to share it with someone you would take. So, for instance, if I want to take you to the concert, mm -hmm. I would tag your Facebook page, which, hey, guys, he does have a Facebook page, too. Yes, I do. Yeah. Absolutely. Darren A. Miller. That's correct. Yes, there we go. And then you also want to put it in your timeline. You want to share it. So the more you share it, I want other people to also see this and have a chance to win Cody Johnson tickets. Yeah. That concert, the, the seats are great. They're almost floor level, which is awesome. Nothing but the best for you guys. Nothing but the best. And all they have to do is use one finger. One Just finger, one. like, like, share, tag. Yeah. That's it. Or one thumb. Or one th Which finger do you use on social one media? One thumb. That's a you use that Maggie one? Thing. Oh, Maggie. He there got you go. Me, there you go. Thank you. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but yes, just like you said, one finger and it's absolutely free to them. Yeah. And it's a, a gesture that you guys do for our society and our community. Absolutely, guys. It's a good chance to get involved, spread the good love around, and who knows, you might win those tickets. Yeah, so this month, just letting you know, we opened it up to everywhere in Texas because people will, from Austin, from Dallas, from San Antonio, will travel to go watch them some good Cody Johnson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I hear. So make sure you go share it. Go find this picture that's right next to Mr. Miller. Um, make sure you share it so all your friends can also have a chance to win um, tickets to Cody Johnson. So we do have, this is not the only thing we do. We also do it in our other social media pages. So we have a lot of social media pages, sir. Yeah, we have a lot going on, Molly. We do. So do you want to tell our viewers what other pages we have? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do that, you know? It's on the screen. I would love to do that. Uh, we've got uh YouTube, you can we do got that. YouTube. YouTube. Yes. We have Facebook that we, got we just Facebook, finished talking about. English and Spanish. And Espa in Espanol. En Espanol. El and then we've got two more, Mari. Yeah, what we have Instagram. Instagram. Oh, that's what the I am stands for. Yeah, you okay. have actually been on Instagram um, on a lot of the, um, you keep track of the the page, and then LinkedIn. LinkedIn, you cannot forget about LinkedIn. No, right? no. You just can't do that. It's more for the higher professionals, more CEOs, right. CFOs, but you know, they also have a life like yourself. They do, they do. And love to entertain. Yes. Yes, so it's very important that you guys follow us on the other um, social media aspects as well, so that way we can get more followers, and we do different things on different channels. Yeah. We don't do the same thing, which is super awesome. You don't feel like you're following the same person. We give different things. Things. We're trying to keep it friggity friggity fresh for y'all, you folks. Friggity friggity fresh, yeah. exactly. My Morgan says friggity fresh. Ah, that's friggety. super sweet. Yes. So I know on Instagram we did load up a story of you prior to the show. So I recommend, if only if you're our friend, you're gonna see that story. So I recommend you guys go and like us. Um, we're kind of coming close to the end of the show, and I kind of want to ask you, as I always do, if you have to give any words of advice or anybody that's watching right now. There's a lot happening this month. What would you leave our viewers with? Um, that, again, I know it's we've just started this beautiful new year, 2020, 
Um, hey, keep the faith. Keep it going. Don't forget. Remember what you uh, what you started the year and what your goals were, and make sure you're working towards those goals. Make it happen for yourself. Be a good example for your family. And keep that love going for the rest of the year. I love it. Those were great words of advice. Kind of keeping people um, accountable as well as holding them accountable to what their goal is. If you speak it into existence, watch and you will see that it will happen. Yes. I think that is awesome. I want to thank all of you guys for watching the show, but most importantly for sharing the show. The more you share it, the more we get to educate other people in our community and other cities and other states as well. So I want to thank you for tuning in to Talk To Me Tuesday on, on a, a Tuesday, Tuesday with your host, Mari B. Bye. Bye.